Um, so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you on the next road trip you may or may not be taking with your family. Um, first of all, fast food restaurants. Figure out what fast food restaurants are going to be in the region you're driving through and what, um, if you're a fast food type of person, and what you can have where. For instance, Chick-fil-A is primarily in the south. It's closed on Sundays, but they do have a dedicated fryer. For potato products, um, you can have the uh, grilled chicken, you can have grilled chicken salad, and um, you can have the ice cream in a cup, not a cone, um, which is really good ice cream. Um, also foods that travel well, make a meal plan prior to leaving home, you know, plan it out, don't, don't forget about snacks, don't forget about how you tend to munch a little more in the car than you typically do in your day to day life. Um, and I wrote down, leave no gluten free stone unturned, I like that, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, shop for your favorite gluten-free items before you leave. I know this sounds kind of obvious, but my dad is the king of, we'll just stop at Whole Foods on our way out. And like, then your destination was like 11 a.m. and then you've hit one and it's just, so shop for those gluten-free foods that before you actually are scheduled to leave. Um, I love you, daddy. <laughs> um, prepare, you know, to chill foods on the road. I think that may be obvious, but you know, just make sure you take into account if something needs to be cooled, if you like something cold like um, coconut water or whatever you like to drink. Um, if you have kids, pack some surprise goodies. That kind of helps when you um, pull out a surprise cookie or treat or something when you're, uh, you know, six hours into the middle of Idaho. Just something to think about. Spice it up a little. Um, if it's a long trip, you'll um, don't rule out the fact that you may be passing by an actually really good gluten-free restaurant. So do your homework where you're driving through and see if you can um, get some good gluten-free eats on your road trip. And if you're staying at a hotel along the way, splitting up the trip, it's always nice to find one with a kitchenette or um, access to some kind of kitchen. And remember, no toaster. You cannot use a communal toaster. You will get sick unless you have toasted bags, which is something to think about. Um, and if you're going to be away for a while, consider shipping gluten-free foods to your destination, gluten-free mall. There are a lot of places on the internet where you can find all kinds of stuff. And sometimes a trip is a good uh, you know, a good excuse to try something new, to ship, you know, not get your stuff from your local Whole Foods, but actually just ship something new and different um, to where you're going to be. And my favorite, be flexible and bring your sense of humor. Traveling is an adventure, um, especially traveling on a road trip with family or friends or alone. So um, things don't always go as planned. So be prepared as best you can, but expect the travel adventure as you drive along. So hope everyone's doing well out there. As always, it's from Have Not To Have and Gluten-Free Dining. Thanks for watching.